Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Electroplating In order to prevent the corrosion of an active metal, a noble metal will be coated on it. This is the concept of metallic coatings. An active base metal Getting coated with, more noble metal Electroplating is a type of metallic coating. Electroplating is the process of coating the base metal, with, a coating metal, by passing direct current, through a solution of electrolyte, containing the soluble salt of coating metal ions. Prior to electroplating, the surface of the base metal should be cleaned thoroughly, for the proper deposition of the coating metal. The objectives of electroplating are To offer corrosion resistance to the base metal To impart decorative value to increase the hardness of the base metal To improve the surface properties To offer desired physical, chemical, and, mechanical properties, to the base metal To prevent the base metal from atmospheric oxidation and chemical attack In electroplating, the electrolytic cell consists of, the base metal, to be protected from corrosion, as cathode, coating metal as anode, and, the salt solution of the coating metal, as the electrolyte. For example, if we want to coat silver, on copper, then, copper rod will be the cathode. Silver rod acts as anode, while silver nitrate solution is used as the electrolyte. On passing the direct current, electrolysis takes place, and, the metal ions of the coating metal from the electrolyte, are deposited on the base metal, cathode. Equivalent amount of metal is replenished by the anode. That is, at anode, oxidation takes place, metal ions are formed, and, so formed metal ions, go into electrolyte solution. The overall process of electroplating can be visualized as follows. Electroplating in an electrolytic cell, the coating metal which is usually a precious metal like gold, or silver, is dipped into its salt solution. The coating metal acts as anode. The metal to be coated that is base metal, acts as the cathode and is also dipped in the salt solution of the coating metal. The coating metal is connected to the positive terminal, and the base metal to the negative terminal of the DC source. In the case of silver coating on copper, when power is supplied, the silver ions reach copper cathode. At the interface of the cathode and the solution, the silver ions take up electrons, get reduced to silver atoms and will be deposited on the copper cathode. In the process, equivalent amount of silver ions are generated from the silver metal due to oxidation and go into the electrolyte. The electrons liberated at the anode, travel towards cathode and reduce the silver ions to metallic silver. The metallic silver will be deposited on the copper cathode. At the end, the copper will be completely coated with silver. We can observe the decrease in the quantity of silver anode. Various factors affecting the electroplating are, cleanliness of the base metal, cathode, anode selected, proper anode, in a pure state should be selected, and, placed at an appropriate distance from the cathode. Electrolyte, it should be easily ionizable, should have good throwing power, should be highly soluble, and, should not undergo any chemical changes. Mixture of electrolytes would be a better choice. Appropriate pH, and, suitable temperature. Current density, that is, current per unit surface area of the cathode, measured in amperes per meter square or milliamperes per centimeter square, should be low so that the diffusion process is fast, and, there forms a uniform coat on the surface of the cathode. Additives are added, to increase the conductivity of the electrolyte, and, the adhesion of the coating metal. In the following table, the data on the electroplating of various metals is presented.
Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.